Oh, right, all right, all right. Let's go. It's time for game two of this week's Icy Far. The challenge, of course, is you can't build there. And down in the bottom left hand side. Oh my god, what a name. It is Boxing Cannon. How is their name bleeding? Like, how do you do that? What, like, what even is this stuff? Is that like an actual language? Damn. It's like a horror movie name. That's creeping me out. And they had a picture of like a sick undead undead marine as well. Oh my god, so sick. I like it. Our friend in the top right, in the blue, it is the one and only Hurt One. He's got the uh, the Canadian... Yeah, this is Hell It's About Time, About Time. The Hell It's About Time tournament that Base Trade did a few years ago up in Can Canada. Canadia. It's a Terran versus Zerg. He's going to be going for a barracks there on the natural. Interesting. Now, Zerg is going for a... Oh, my God. Pool double gas. By the way, I'm going Nida Swarm Host. Can you hold? Well, that's brave. Just announcing it, hey? It looks like one base Ravager. Technically, you could do one base Swarm Host with this. It would be one of the most appallingly bad builds because there is literally zero flexibility. Like, if your opponent runs in three Hellions, you've got nothing that can defend it. Two, three Reapers, nothing. You, you, you can't adapt because you've got no mineral income, right? Because the thing is, what are you going to do? Go Lair before Queen on one hatch? That'd be a fucking disaster. Queen starts. Spine starts. It's going to be a spy, but it's there. If they just run around. What is this fucking disaster? Was it 2012? It wasn't that long ago, was it? Hell, it's a boot time. Wasn't that like 2015? Surely it wasn't 20... No. This was BlizzCon 2013, the Undead Marine. I forgot about that one. Damn. <laughs> Look at this. He's like, you can't build there. Don't forget, Swarmost incoming in about two minutes. Oh, this is such a donkey build from this Terran. This is hilarious. Yeah, yeah immediate lair. This is, I like that he tells people. It's brave donkey. You know, Australia was saying Americans might be clowns, but at least they're powerful clowns. <laughs> people might shit talk their pro players, but they're... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Are we... Oh, we're making plan... No. And a Marine runs in and actually sees like, wait, you actually are going one base lair. He's like, oh. Okay. I see. <laughs> no. So he was he's going building armor mass planetary against Nidus Swarmos. Now normally you don't want to go planetaries versus Swarmos because um you can't lift them. And Swarmos do such crazy damage. But if you get building armor, planetaries have five armor. Each locust does I have no fucking idea how much damage actually. Like a ten, eight, eleven? They shoot really, really fast. I don't know. I have no idea how much damage each each locust does. I just know it's a lot. And I guess if you get enough planetaries up and, and you just repair them and they can't kill them and they got five armor each, like that's Yeah, you can you can just out macro the Zerg. I mean orbitals would put you way further ahead, but this is gonna be He's literally just gonna build the slowest directions of all time all over the map. He's just gonna just gonna be weird, no reason, out of place Terran boners. He's setting one up here. You can see. You can't even see. Look at that. There we go. It's protruding. Slowly, slowly, slowly. That bit tucks over and it slides in, connects. It slides up. Starts sliding over. A little bit of a rotate. It's on like a rail sort of system. And then he's got... I think the two guns will poke out here. I don't know. This thing is, is always so weird looking, man. Oh, there it is. No, they poke out down the end. I forgot. I always forget. The little, little tubes poke out there. It's like... Kind of reminds me of that one time I saw like a llama take a piss at the at the fair. I was just looking at it and this thing just unfolded out from under it and started spraying and I was like, whoa! Um, yeah, that's kind of what the Ibex cannon looks like on the classic Terran skin. Now there is of course Nidus Swarm Host out. The first Swarm Host is here. A queen, a drone, and five Swarmos gonna pop inside the main. Ah, uh, there is a planetary up there. Building armor. Building armor, the timing. Building armor just kicked in. That's right, the planetary now has five armor. The other buildings have three plus two on top of the base armor, that is. These SCVs need to get the heck out, get the heck out, get the heck out. Ooh, okay, locusts land. Oh, no, 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 SCVs need to repair. Okay, the swarm hosts, the locusts run in. The planetary is like, hello? Hello? <laughs> uh, one base swarm host is going to take a while to clean this main base out. 
I like the creep and the spine crawler. The another night this one is like, okay, well this one's a planetary. I should at least hit the other base. Nope, that's a planetary too. And there's already an SCV out of the map, ready to build another one. 29 SCVs versus 18 drones, a cyclone building. I guess that's a mobile unit. Are we gonna do it there or? Okay, so queens are kind of behind the mineral line up there. Locusts are gonna come in from behind the planetary. Six swarm hosts versus a planetary. Let's see, can they go for the SCVs? I mean, if they went for the SCVs, it'd be more effective. The planetary starting to blast them. And uh, locusts, by the way, do 10 damage a shot. They attack so damned fast. Even faster than a stim marine, I believe. About the same speed, probably. That's insane. Each locust uh, does more than a stim marine. You have, of course, two locusts per swarm host. Manson survives though. Cyclone's gonna slowly clean that one up. These queens doing a good bit of damage behind this boxing cannon, showing the true breadth and, and just you know absolute massive range of strategy is going into more swarm hosts on one base. Now this is a strategy. I actually think if boxing cannon expanded behind this, planetaries is such an impotent style. I think hurt one would die very slowly here. I actually don't think like I think you just build your swarm host count. You slowly expand. You should be good even as it is. These swarmers could get way out of control. They're going to take out some depots here. Cyclone is like, Oi, hey babies, come play with me. Dickheads, lures <laughs> the locusts over to the planetary. The jailbait Cyclone doing quite nicely there. Creep spreading through this main base. Unfortunately, that starport gets slowed down. All the depots go down. Hurt one taking so much damage. The Cyclone's trying to damage these queens. But look at that. They can just pop inside the Nidus and then pop back out again. Oh, big brain micro from Boxing Cannon. And uh, look at that. Oh, popping in and out. Oh, my. Got to tell you, if anyone out there happens to meet someone on Tinder, their, their name says it's Boxing Cannon. They say, don't worry. Trust me. I'm very good at the, uh, the pull-out technique. Uh, one of the few people you can actually trust in that regard. Uh, probably pretty bad life advice to hook up with someone who, who says that on the Tinder profile. But, you know, to each their own. It's all about options. Exercising critical thinking in your own life. Cyclone does unfortunately go down. These queens take it out quite a few SCVs. That starport cannot finish. Oh, the Cyclone's down here, actually. Maybe that's a different Cyclone. I don't even know. Uh, units are all over the place. These swarm hosts are having a nice little party. More Cyclones are on the way. Does take out that Nidus Worm. And he's going to lock onto that swarm host. But its locusts do come down and chase that Cyclone back away. This planetary is very low. It's one trying to go up in the corner of the map. These two Drilly Boys trying to have a bit of a repair. And those two queens are going to slowly go down, I believe. That cyclone should be more than a match for them. Behind this, notice that our Zerg player is very, very good at following it up. Is building a few more queens and more nothing. That's like one spine in the other base. That's it. Okay. And three overlords. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shout out to this Zerg. He's honestly found what makes him happy. That's throwing three units through a teleport butthole into their opponent's main base. And and you know what? If that's your thing, that's your thing. That's, that's not, It's not the worst. There's worse ways to play StarCraft. They mostly involve Sky Toss. And uh, hurt one. Gets the spine, but he's got to get out. Whoa, good micro, good micro. Planetary does save it for now, but no, you got to run. Hurt one. <laughs> oh, it goes down. That's unfortunate. More Cyclones, but oh, he's going to be so careful. Hurt one. Dude, I love that these planetaries just won't go down, by the way. This is, for those who are just tuning in, building armor, planetary fortresses with five armor, halving the effective damage of the Locusts. And, uh... <laughs> oh my god. The Locusts come into the main one more time. If they shift-click the SCVs, they can actually do really big, meaningful damage. Every SCV that goes down is pretty huge. They do focus one or two down. They're getting a couple of SCVs. It's just so easy to repair up those planetaries. This base is very healthy. There is a base down in the corner. Starport's finally getting up there. Behind this boxing cannon, 1,800 minerals. Could have five expansions going up on the map. Instead, you can see the production tab has nothing in it. Of course, this is one of the downsides. If you do want to play StarCraft by dragging your Mansack back and forth across the keyboard, it does mean that you do give up one hand being able to actually press hotkeys. And it is a little bit random. So trying to go back home, build a hatchery, it's kind of hard because you, you go back, you click on a drone, you go to an expansion, and then you just kind of try and toss your undercarriage across the keyboard. You hope you can hit build hatchery, BH. But often you misclick it, you accidentally try to build a spore crawler. You can't even build that off creep. So it's just, it's a problem for Boxing Cannon, who clearly wants to expand. 
But it's just one of those things. When you choose to play a style like this, you are reliant on not using your hands, but just using your man jump. And uh, her one, on the other hand, also playing a style. I'm not sure what the analogy is to hurt one's play style. I mean, from the start, before even knew it was swarm host, hurt one was planning to just build planetaries everywhere. So I think hurt one may in fact be more like that kid who's just like picking bundles of earwax out of his ear and eating them. Like, you know, he's just like, they're really going for a dig and you're like, that's kind of gross, but eh. But then they pull it out and they like stick it in their mouth and you're like, ah, oh, fucking hell, don't do that. That's disgusting. And they just like kind of grin at you like, hey, hey, I know I did a naughty one. And you're like, oh, Jesus, that's fucking disgusting. It's, it's a fucking animal. Um, <laughs> the Swarmo is going to pop back out. The Cyclone is going to take out the Nidus Swerve though. It keeps taking those out. I mean, Boxing Cannon has more than enough money, but right now it means these Swarmos can't actually get to the other base. So it's going to give that one time. Creep is spreading through the entire main base. Watch the Queen, by the way. She does almost no damage to this tech lab. This tech lab is Houdini right now. He's like, punch me, punch me. I, I can't even feel it. I can't even feel it. Uh, she's like, oh shit, you are pretty tough, hey. Ooh, ooh, good focus fire. Boxing Cannon just ravaged that worker line pretty well. Meanwhile, a couple Swarmos do get out on the other side on the left of the map. Planetary's trying to erect here. Turret's trying to distract and buy some time. That queen's still... What the fuck? She hasn't even got it burning. What the hell are you even... <laughs> <laughs> woman with 9mm handgun tries to shoot armored tank. You're like, this is not an efficient use of your time. Uh, meanwhile, there is a bunker going up there, apparently. An expansion has finally gone up. Like I said, a bit of a lucky dip. The BH finally got down. That planetary, not quite finished, does go down. Ow. And you know what? SCV comes over, cleans that up. Main natural still going. Third base is going. Yamato's on the way. You can see that Boxing Cannon has such range as a player, is still not transferred drones, still has enough money to build five hatcheries, and is making a Nidus Worm at the expansion, rather than just walking some fucking workers down. Oh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> how is it 12 minutes and there's only eight? Oh, there is like 18 Swarmers. That is a lot. That should be able to smash planetaries really one-sidedly. You just don't want to use an entire Locust Wave to deal with one bunker with four Marines. You don't want to use every Locust for that. Ouch. Quite an inefficient way to deal with things, but there we go. Those Marines are going to fall. Swarmo's going to hop back out on the other side of the map. Are they going to try to hop out here? they got to be careful. Careful, mate. Going to try and pop it up in the back door. That's the first battle cruiser halfway done. There is only one queen and two spores that shoot up for Boxing Cannon. Now, keep in mind, Boxing Cannon has enough money. Literally, could build a spire and still make like 10 corruptors of this bank, which will beat quite a few battle cruisers. Boxing Cannon is still in a situation where with this pack of Swarmos, you could win this game. Swarmos could easily take that tank out. Do you want to risk it, though? Ooh, he's going to go for it. you got to actually micro some locusts onto the tank, though. Otherwise, they're just going to jump on either side. The tank is just shelling this entire time. Boxing Cannon, you got to micro the locusts on the tank. Oh, my God. The tank survives. The locusts all split into both mineral lines and don't do a whole lot. Boxing Cannon. Empty production tab, by the way, is still just staring. We've got to go. We've got to, we've got to cast this game from Boxing Cannon's vision. This is going to be so hilarious. Let's look at the control groups. All the hatcheries are on zero, and the Nidus Worm is on six. There's no other control groups. I'm going to hope that it's an MMO mouse, and they're using side mouse buttons. I'm, I'm going to hope. Let's, let's watch this. 11, oh, 11 overlords. You're on 23 drones. Oh my God. Burns the entire mineral bank that could have been used on corruptors on 11 overlords. A hatchery, a queen, and a few gas geysers. Oh my God. No. Thinks this is the only base. Has no idea about the bottom right corner. <laughs> Finally decides to macro. Look at the mineral income, by the way. Look at the mineral income of Boxing Cannon. It is almost non-existent. Are we finally going to kill the planetary? Are we finally going to kill the planetary? Oh my god, the natural! Oh my god, that's a lot of locusts. Surely you can kill that. Surely. Sure. No. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Barely. Oh my god. Without any attack upgrades versus uh, planetary fortress with armor, they almost didn't get it. Sorry, let's stay on boxing cannon. Still has not gone home to spend any more money. <clears throat> has not checked the bottom right. Oh, look at that surround. Exhausted. The swarmers. Dude, can you guys imagine that? That's like being trapped in a mosh pit with like a whole bunch of 500 pound plus people around you. 
all just pressing you up against them. Getting getting cornered by swarm hosts is just like you can feel there's some big sweaty guy and his man tit is like glued to your face with just your own both of your sweat and, and natural oils and shit. And you're there and there's another guy on the other side and you just you're the piece of salami in between those pieces of bread and it's it's a it's a really nasty feeling, what can I say? Uh, locusts are starting to take out all these depots. The problem is, of course, there's one... There's still only one BC out. How's there only one BC? And her one just lost a lot of depots to his supply block. The second and third BC are on the way. Uh, actually, a fourth one as well. There's three starports down here. Oh, my. Um, boxing cannons, like, well, you know what? Clearly, 29 swarmers isn't enough. I need two more. I think boxing cannon thinks they've won this game. They finally... Well, I was about to say they finally droned up. They haven't. They've built almost no workers. All they did was transfer workers to the third. They've got no minerals. They've got no spire. They have no idea about the corner base. They're like, you know what? I don't think 18 is enough to kill a planetary. We need 30. Do you think that maybe is overkill? Can you guys imagine this stampede of the swarm hosts? Can you just imagine right now? <clears throat> zombies? But every single zombie is a pregnant mom and they're like flinging fucking fetuses at you. That's essentially what this is. Only the sick mind of Abatha himself, the guy who thought he needed to upgrade Kerrigan with carapace heels, that fucking weirdo. Only him and his dirty, weird fucking essence patriarchy would possibly think this is a good way of using it. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just going to dispatch of all attachment to our children and instead use them as projectiles. And I'm like, well, that's fucked up, you sick bastard. He like, he, he went and played Age of Empires for a bit and he was like, I like these slingers. I like it. They just, they put a stone in, they spin it around, they throw it. And you're like, yeah, yeah, that's like, well, it's a pretty primitive weapon, but yeah, like he gets the job done. He's like, yeah, but what if we just replace the stones with children? And you're like, okay, but why? And he's like, for murder? <laughs> you know, Abath is the guy who'd have a creepy laugh like that. The guy who fucking sits around tinkering with other life forms all day, creating all sorts of weird shit. He's, he's a sicko. Speaking of sickos, Hurt One finally unleashes his righteous Terran Stiffy upon this Zerg player. He says, yeah, yeah, some people would feel bad about this, and I feel pretty good about it. Uh, <laughs> you fucking dickhead. Uh, have you been going one base swarm host all game, mate? <laughs> get, 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 get out. <laughs> Six battle cruisers teleport across the map. Boxing cannon's like, wait, 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 wait. Did he just lose all the swarm host? No, no, he's still got a Nidus there. He's got to unload that, that, that. Oh, no, he's got a few Niduses around. Okay. Too many Niduses would have to go down. But he's, all of his swarm hosts are just chilling in the Nidus. He's got to unload those and go kill the buildings, man. If you kill the buildings, maybe, maybe, just maybe. He's building a lot of spores and queens there, trying to hang on. Battle cruisers are having an absolute orgy over here. They found the field of perverts. And they're like, stop watching, you dirty pieces of shit. They all get blasted. Oh, man, these simulant Zerg just getting annihilated, dude. Oof. So, still... Oh, my God. Unloaded them all on the other side of the map. Holy shit, that's a lot of swarm host. Uh, what's the bet? Boxing Cannon throws them from too far away because they're all on one control group. Oh, no, no, manually threw these ones. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, my God. Holy shit. My swarmers don't want none unless you got planetary buns, hun. Uh, that is absolutely ridiculous. I just... Holy shit. It's the stampede scene from the Lion King, but instead of wildebeests, they're wildehosts. They're fucking charging down. For some reason, they're slinging their babies into battle. And this is some righteous Terran revenge. They say, that's fucked up. You shouldn't throw your children as weapons. It's fucking weird. Don't shake your locusts. It doesn't matter how annoying it is already got a timed life jesus don't shake it how dare you does lose the planetary and most of the scvs but the problem is there are still command centers floating there's nothing that shoots up except spore crawlers there's no spire there's no corruptors there's only 13 swarm hosts left 27 have gone down out of the 40 that have been built this game and here we go yamato is going to start to take out these spores from afar spreading them across that's nine blood battle cruisers oh welcome welcome Man, I mean, yeah. For a player who does play with his undercarriage, I guess he should be familiar with the scent that's being wafted under his nose right now. Boxing Cannon being welcomed, of course, not just to D-Town, but straight on ahead. He's in Gooch Town right now. I think he's realizing Dick Town is the next stop. 
And indeed, uh, he's going to try and throw out one more desperate wave of locusts. It's like, no, nah, you haven't got me yet. I still got my night as swamp host. Uh, no, Boxing Cannon, you've been absolutely fudged, mate. All the battle cruisers teleported back here, guys. Remember, this is a Hurt One game. We've witnessed Hurt One before in Icy Fire and in a few other games we've cast. Not the most adept at finishing the game always, so he may take a little while here. Hurt One is a master of fudgery, but not necessarily of a tight, effective finish. What I do like watching, though, is this little meeting. Ooh, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen an SCV kill a swarm host. Let's see if that happens. How dare you throw your children? Uh oh. <laughs> ah! Ah! Run! Command center gets cancelled. That SCV goes down. Is that the last SCV? No, there's still three up here. Battle cruisers making their way to the north. Damn. Shout out to Boxing Cannon, by the way. Goes to the zombie style army, has the zombie portrait, the, uh, the, the undead marine. And uh, just like that, a trail of dead swarm hosts. GG, well played. Man of the whole way. Of course. Of course. Units lost tab. Yeah, it took out 132 SCVs in that game. Lost 11 drones, still lost the game. It turns out when you don't expand behind it, oof, you're in trouble. That was pretty brutal, man. That was pretty brutal. I uh, I actually think Boxing Cannon was in the lead, it turns out. As annoying as planetaries are to kill, four of them did go down in this game. Uh, with that building armor upgrade and that high sec auto tracking, let's be real, probably not the most efficient way to counter the one base knight as swarm host. But in the end, weathered the storm, got the battle cruisers out by surprise in the corner of the map. And that's a good way to do it. GG, well played. And uh, I love these creative games, guys. Please make sure you get your replays in for next week. Remember, exclamation mark, Icy Fire, the challenge is, did you hear that? Use invisible and burrowed units as much as possible. Of course, special thanks to everyone who's been supporting the Patreon. If you guys do want to go above and beyond to support the channel, check it out in the description below. And a special thanks to Maxan, our conductor on the train to D-Town, as well as the Leviathan, Vivac, our great lord and saviour, and of course, the patron saint of the Dunmer. We'll be right back with the next episode. See you in the next one. Goodbye and good night. Pew, pew.